Good morning and welcome to Adult Storytime. We're so glad you joined us this morning. We are taking our stories throughout the Christmas holiday season from the book Christmas Remembered, written by Tommy DiPiola. And these are stories of remembrances of his past Christmases. And today we're going to be sharing the story, The Miraculous Christmas Fireplace. In 1937, when I was a little over three years old, my mother and father, Buddy, and I lived in an apartment on Columbus Avenue in Meriden, Connecticut. My sister Maureen wouldn't be born until 1940, and the youngest, Judy, came along three years after that. A few days before Christmas Eve, a fireplace miraculously appeared in our small living dining room. It stood against the wall where, the day before, a china cupboard had stood. I can still see the red brick and my mother, the indomitable Flossie, unrolling a long piece of cotton batting from its blue paper wrapping and putting it across the mantle of the newcomer fireplace. She then carefully placed some glittery reindeer and tiny cardboard houses and buildings along the cotton. The houses and buildings had colored paper windows, and when a string of colored lights was inserted into the backs of the tiny structures, everything glowed. It was the Christmas village. I was still too young to help sprinkle the mica snow that came in the box over the houses and the cotton snow, but I clearly remember the glowing village on the mantle of the red brick fireplace and the radiating flicker of the burning logs that reflected firelight into the room. I'm sure we had a Christmas tree, but I don't remember it. It's no wonder that Christmas became my favorite holiday. It was a time of miracles, fireplaces appearing so Santa could visit, Flossie's famous Christmas village that all the neighbors came to see, and a glittering rotating fire in the fireplace that never seemed to consume the logs, although I can still remember the smell of burning. I didn't find out about the miraculous fireplace until a few years later when we moved into our new house and we had a real fireplace. I went down into the basement to snoop around. There, tucked away in a corner, its back facing the room was the artificial fireplace. The brick was crepe paper. The fire was a gizmo that plugged in and rotated around a red light bulb hidden under the plaster of Paris logs. The blazing fire was found out. Well, never mind, I thought. Santa would come down our real chimney and out through our real fireplace to bring us bigger and better toys. And that is today's story for Adult Storytime, The Miraculous Christmas Fireplace. We're glad you joined us. Until next time, stay safe, be healthy, and have a wonderful week.